Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to go over using delays and durations in Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. In an earlier tutorial, we went over working with layers. Delays and durations are closely related, so I thought I'd go over them with you today. Adjusting the delays and durations is fundamental to your doodly videos, and it can really take them to higher heights. But a lot of people don't seem to realize that you can change them. They just go with the default and that's that. Now, by default, each item has a preset duration. Characters and props come in at three seconds each. Now this might be too long or too short for your scene, or it might be just right. Text, on the other hand, it seems to take the number of words into account. So if you have a big long paragraph, it's going to take longer to write than something like this little title here that's only one and a half seconds long. In addition, when you add multiple items to your scene, each one draws on one after the other in quick succession. Now you might want to pause or an even longer delay before the next character or prop is drawn. Fortunately, it's really easy to adjust both the duration of the drawing and the amount of time between items being drawn by the hand. So let's start with duration. As you'll see here, I have a title and this is the default one and a half seconds that Doodly assigned to it. And then my man at three seconds. And then each of these numbers comes in at three seconds. They all have a delay of zero seconds. This is just the standard. You drag and drop them in and this is what Doodly gives to you. So if we were to preview it, you'd see it draws, okay, three seconds here, here comes the other one. As Soon as he finishes drawing that, the next one comes on and so on and so forth, okay? Now, you might think that took a long time for him to draw one, two, three. That's a full nine seconds. And depending on your scene, you know, if you're saying, hey, this is as easy as one, two, three, then you don't want to spend nine seconds on drawing it, right? So what you can do is you can go over here to duration and change it. So let's change it to say one second each and see how that changes the video. Oops, I did two. <laughs> so now if we preview the scene, it should draw the numbers really fast. You can go even faster if you'd like. Let's do half a second. Now you can just click in and type the number or you could use the plus and minus signs. Either works. And let's make our man a little shorter. I like about two seconds for the characters, but that's just really a matter of personal preference. And of course, timing of your video. So let's take a look at this now. Delays and durations. Okay, we have our man, then one, two, three. So that comes on much faster. Now, what if you don't want the hand to draw these numbers at all? What if you just want them to pop on? You want to go one, two, three, and you know, it's just going to be so fast that it doesn't make sense to have the hand draw them. So again, you just go over here and you set it to zero. Now, since it's only zero seconds long, there's no hand that's going to be coming in to draw this. So let's take a peek. and boom, there they are. And they all appeared simultaneously because there's no delay between them. And that, of course, brings us into the delay setting. So if we want it to go delays and durations, here's the man, and then one, pop, two, pop, three, pop, you would go over here to your delays and you would set, let's say, one second between the two. And now when you hit preview, One, two, three. Let's say you want to talk for, you know, 10 seconds or so. Say point number one is blah, blah, blah. So you don't want number two coming on while you're still talking about point number one. That's where you want to adjust your delay even further. So let's say we're going to talk for 10 seconds. So you're going to give it a 10 second delay. And then same with number three, let's, let's give us 10 seconds, who knows. 
And now when you hit preview, you're going to have 10 seconds to talk about point number one before two pops in. So here we go. Here comes our man. Point number one. So now I can talk for a good 10 seconds or so before point number two comes in. So blah, 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 blah. And then now we're at point number two, and then we can talk again for 10 seconds before point number three comes on. So I think you're getting the idea now how these delays and durations work. I generally adjust my delays and durations over here in this side panel, but you can also do it over here in the little gear icon for individual items if you prefer that. So over here, you have your enter animation, draw, and it's got zero seconds. Okay, you can change that by just doing your thing. You can also turn it to none if you'd like, and that automatically puts it at zero. I did also want to touch on the exit animation here. If you want to erase items, you go to exit animation, choose erase, and then you can adjust the duration of how long it erases. We will go over erasing in another tutorial, but for now I just wanted to mention that it's there and available to you. And that's the basics of delays and durations in Doodly. Thanks for watching!